If you've been cosplaying for a while, it's likely you've wanted to cosplay a character with twin tails. Twin tails are an extraordinarily common anime hairstyle. You'll see them on schoolgirls like Kagami from Lucky Star. You'll see them on magical girls like Sailor Moon or Lucia from Mermaid Melody. And even idols get in on the twin tail action. When it comes to purchasing a wig for a character sporting twin tails, you have two-ish options. The first would be to purchase a short wig with matching clip-ons. This style is low maintenance and doesn't require a lot of styling, but it looks pretty darn good. The second option would be to purchase a wig specifically for twin tails. This type of wig would have a skin cap up the back for a part and would have wefts sewn on upside down to make it easy for them to be pulled into high twin tails. This style of twin tail wig looks more realistic and has become a common staple in a cosplayer's toolbox. Today, I'm going to be showing you a Gaia from Epic Cosplay Wigs and a Chibi from Arda Wigs. These wigs are both made to be worn in twin tails. You might also recognize their producers. Arda and Epic Cosplay are both known in the cosplay world for being some of the best wigs in the US market. They are both made with large cap sizes, have a variety of colors, and come in many styles. Over the past years, I've cosplayed so many twin tail characters that I've lost count. And it seems that almost every time I cosplay one, I'm stuck trying to decide if I want a Gaia or a Chibi. Both have their perks. So let's go ahead and take a look at both of these wigs. Gaia from Epic Cosplay Wigs. This is the color Dark Red. You can purchase this wig for $39.99 with free US shipping. Let's take a look inside of the Gaia. Here you can see the 1 and 1 4th inch skin top. This is what allows the wig to part in the back. The bangs of the Gaia are super thick. I'm seeing at least 6 rows of wefting for the bangs. Along the root of the bangs, you'll also find some crimped fibers. This helps with the lift of the bangs. Another notable feature of the Gaia is the wefts sewn into the inside of the ear tabs. Tabs like these are used to cover your sideburns. You don't normally see wefts sewn to the inside of them, but I suppose this is to help hide the wig cap if you pull these parts back into your twin tails. Now let's see this wig on a wig head. The bangs on this wig are crazy thick. They could easily be styled into crazy anime styles. It's important to know the bangs on these wigs come along and will need to be trimmed. My bangs have already been trimmed. The wefts along the edges of this wig have been sewn upside down and on the inside of the wig cap. This allows the wig to be pulled cleanly into ponytails. This section here is the ear tabs I mentioned previously. Now that we can see the bulk of the wig, you might notice all these short curly hairs. These minimize the bulk of the hair that will be pulled into the ponytails. However, I have found that it can sometimes be difficult to cover all these little hairs with the remaining long hairs. Unfortunately, throughout a day of wearing this wig, these little hairs begin to poke out. At the base of this wig is a row of baby hairs. These are to help hide your natural baby hairs and maintain a natural look. Like the bangs, these baby hairs are thick and long. Let's try pulling this half of the wig into a high twin tail. As we're pulling this into a ponytail, I can't help but mention the color of this wig. It's a very pure red with little variation. The fibers are also very smooth and soft. Here you can see how much I'm needing to brush and smooth out these hairs in order to hide the little hairs underneath. However, once it's in the pigtail, these hairs are hardly noticeable and the wig looks really cute. So here are a few key things to take away about the Gaia. The bangs are very thick. In order to reduce bulk, they added a bunch of short hairs underneath the ponytails. The fibers are very soft. This red color is a pure red, not a lot of variation in the fibers. And the natural back part and upside down wefting along the edges of the wig is very cute and works perfect for these pigtails.
Next up is the Chibi from Arta Wigs. You can purchase this wig for $46 plus shipping. It also comes in two sizes, large and small. My wig is the color dark blue. Let's start again by looking at the inside of the wig. At the front of the chibi, you'll find a comb. This is to keep the wig from slipping. The chibi seems to have just as many wefts in the bangs as the Gaia did. However, unlike the Gaia, the chibi does not have wefts on the inside of the ear tabs. This wig also has a one inch skin part along the back. And at the back of the wig, you'll find two more combs and an Arta Wigs tag. Now let's see the chibi on a wig head. The bangs of this wig have very nice volume. I have already trimmed these bangs. When purchasing a chibi, the bangs will come long and will need to be trimmed. It doesn't appear that the hair on the ear tabs is meant to be pulled back. When I pull this hair back, it also pulls the tabs out of place. The part between the bangs and the rest of the hair is firm but natural. Just like the Gaia, the hairs around the edge of the wig have been sewn upside down and inside the wig cap to allow the hairs to be pulled up into a ponytail. These baby hairs on the chibi are wispy and cute, just like real baby hair. Now taking a look underneath the hairs of the chibi, you'll notice all the hairs are the same length. This creates very thick ponytails. And we can't forget to take a look at the color and quality of the fibers. Arta Wigs is well known for their natural color blends. Even on a color like dark blue, there are a multitude of different colors in this wig. This blend creates a very natural look. Here are a few key points about the chibi. All the hairs for the ponytails are the same length. This is a very, very thick wig, which makes it easy to style. The colors are blended and realistic. There are three pre-sewn combs to help keep the wig on. And of course, the natural back part and upside down wefting around the edge of the wig make it easy and super cute to be pulled up into ponytails. And now let's look at these two wigs together. When looking at these wigs side by side, the most noticeable difference is the fibers. The Epic Cosplay wig appears shiny and to be all the same color. The Arta wig is a bit more matte with a realistic color blend. Both wigs look lovely when pulled into low ponytails. When looking at the back of the wig, the Gaia skin cap seems to be warped and creates a wave along the back of the head. The chibi sits flat. Both high pigtails are very cute, but the Arta pigtail is noticeably thicker. Both the chibi and the Gaia are super cute. They each have their perks. Personally, I prefer the Arta chibi. I find that the fibers are easier to style and the cap shape and size better fits my head. My Gaia tends to slip around on my head and the pigtails fall out quickly due to the smoothness of the fibers. However, I think that both of these wigs are awesome and it's incredible that we have so many options now as a cosplay community. You used to have to make your own pigtail wigs by crisscrossing wefts or pulling them up and putting your own skin cap. It used to be kind of crazy, so I'm very thankful that both Arda and Epic have created these incredible pigtail wigs for us. It makes life so much easier. So let me know in the comments below which you prefer. Do you like the Arda TV or are you more a fan of the Epic Gaia? Make sure you let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, hit a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. I plan to make more videos like this in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my name is Ellie. And as always, be sure to keep sewing, stay positive, and have fun. I will see you all later. Okay, bye. <laughs>